You're sexy. Is that unprofessional of me? I don't know. I'm sorry, but like, I'm just like, damn. All right, sir, step out of the vehicle for me. Criminals always think that they can get away with crime and outsmart the law enforcement. And what happens when they try to hide in plain sight but still get caught? I already know what happened. I already know about the credit cards that he paid off. Okay, then, that, then I know what it is. Listen to me. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Here are times when criminals hide in plain sight and still get caught. Starting off with a Home Depot employee who was caught stealing in an elaborate plan with his 19-year-old son where they stole goods worth one zero 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 dollars from the store and thought, Listen to me. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Oye, pon la mano atrás, voy a meter con este. Put your hands in the back. On June 21st, 2023, on a sunny day in Florida, officers responded to a Home Depot theft where an employee had stolen over one zero 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 dollars worth of products in just a week. Upon arrival, they spoke with a store employee to gather more details. The officer then talked to one of the store managers to know more about how the theft had occurred. Hello, sir. Yeah. How you doing? Um, I can show you here real quick. Sure. Uh, what happened, um, I had a lumber associate, um, probably, actually the public supervisor, um, on May 17th when we first found out, he was actually watching an external person going out with merchandise um, and saw that uh, the department supervisor was there when he walked out. Um, so I was like, leave him alone, um, that's weird because if he's standing there, how come he didn't check the receipt and confirm that that merchandise was paid for? Roll back video and confirm that not only did he let them let him go out and pay merchandise, that he helped him select merchandise. Oh. Um, watched him place power tools in between the lumber, hide it. We have it on video. Hide it in between. Let the roll-up door up and let the guy walk out. Which is so. not a regular exit. That's right. an exit just yeah. to yeah. load up. Like delivers. Since with the same customer. Um, the customer just goes to them, the customer just comes, get a bunch of lumber, puts it on a lumber cart, even branded stuff, place it on a lumber cart, stands there and have a conversation with it, rolls up the door, never checks a receipt or anything like that, and lets the guy roll out, puts it, puts it in the truck. Um, so after the investigation was completed from Atlanta, they sent me a packet back in color, um, and I paid much ice. Um, so I just finished, um, he's in the office now, I just finished having a conversation with him, he was giving me Go back and forth. No, I don't remember. I don't know what happened. Maybe I was confused. You're not confused. You know the problem. You know the process. You know. He even told me I didn't know I have to check a receipt. I had a lot of stuff going on at home. We all got stuff on, but we have to follow the process. You can't just let them pay much in that stuff. So he finally admitted. Um, I have a statement here. Um, yeah, that's a statement. Um, he still talks about not letting you know, not checking receipt. It's his mistake. Um, I just say, I'm not paying merchandise for the same customer. Um, one time, yeah. Multiple times, no. It doesn't, it doesn't happen. He checks receipts for other customers when they go out, but this particular customer here, he was allowing them to go out. So I was trying to get him to admit, hey, you know, did the guy say, hook, you know, mm -hmm. you hook him up? And, you know, he said, well, that he wouldn't admit to, but he admit to allowing, to pull up, you know, allowing the guy to to go out with merchandise. The stolen items included wood, batteries, construction materials, and a case of candy bars. It appears that the employee, along with his son, evaded security by bypassing receipt checks. The scheme was uncovered by a loss prevention when the manager caught the employee allowing his son to carry multiple packages out through the back entrance without checking out. With sufficient details and evidence, the officer took action against the employee, who looked more than disappointed that his elaborate plan to steal from his employers had failed. What's your name? Huh? Same, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, right. All right. Listen, uh, the company wants to pay charges. Sure, to 11, All right. So this is what I need to do. You have any knife or anything on you right now? 
Don't reach for anything. I'm asking. Do you have anything on you? Yes. Okay. Stand up. Put your hands on the on the on the wall. Oh. Pon las manos en la pared. Arriba. No te vayas a mover, okay? Okay. We're gonna take this off. Se quita. Uh, you guys want the teacher? Huh? A picture? No, the teacher. The no, teacher no, is yours? No, no, no. no it's fine. This is this is yours? Whatever is yours you want it? Uh, uh IDs? No, no, no. It's Nothing? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Oye, brother, give me your hand. Dame, dame tu mano. Vírate, vírate de espalda. Escúchame lo que te estoy diciendo. Vírate, dame las manos. Te estoy diciendo que te vires y me des la mano. Hey. Listen to me. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Pon las manos atrás. Pon las manos atrás, te voy a meter un teizazo. Pon las manos atrás. Pon las manos atrás. Oye, pon las manos atrás, te voy a meter con el teizo. Put your hands in the back. Ok, mi hermano, vamos para afuera. Mis cosas. Aquí están. Mi teléfono. ¿Dónde está tu teléfono? En el iPhone que usted me quitó. ¿En el qué? En el iPhone que usted me quitó. Aquí. Yo quisiera entender primeramente por qué está pasando eso. Ok, te están acusando de robo y vas a ir preso por eso. No, es que yo no he robado nada. Ok, bueno, eso lo tienes que probar en la corte, ¿ok? Puedes llamar un poquito antes de que me lleve, por favor, porque eso no fue lo que... Ok, eh, escúchame lo que, que te estoy diciendo. Ellos hicieron una investigación, ok, uh -huh. y ellos quieren presentar cargo. Tu inocencia la vas a tener que probar en la corte, no aquí. Ok, este no es el momento ahora. Ellos, ellos están presentando cargo y yo te estoy arrestando. En estos momentos te estoy diciendo que salgas por la puerta conmigo, ok. The suspect was caught by surprise and tried to plead his innocence despite the overwhelming evidence against him. Okay. ¿Revisaste los papeles? ¿Sí o no? Siempre reviso. Sí. ¿Revisaste los papeles? Sí, señor. ¿Y por qué no va a pagar? No Ese es el detalle de que ellos justamente a mí me están diciendo de que bueno, yo... ok, escúchame. Ya ellos quieren presentar los cargos, ¿ok? Tú estás despedido de un tipo, tú vas a ser traspasado aquí, aquí no puedes venir más. Ahora, eso lo vas a tener que probar en la corte, ¿ok? Eso lo vas a tener que probar en la corte, ¿ok? Así que ahora, ya tú estás arrestado, estás preso. Ya no hay nada que puedas hacer para quitar eso. Te estoy diciendo que vamos a salir para allá afuera, ¿ok? Vamos para mi carro, te sientas ahí y después te explico cómo es el proceso. Eh, eh, Aquí tengo tu teléfono y tu cartera. Vamos. Ven. Vamos. Papo, ven. Oye. Vamos, bro, no más. Vamos, papo, camina, no más, no más, no más empujarte, dale. Esto es una injusticia, loco. Es una injusticia, hermano. Yo no sé nada y mira cómo me está sacando. De verdad, discúlpeme, pero esto no, 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 no es correcto. Mucha gente me conoce aquí y sabe lo que estoy haciendo. Y no es justo lo que me han hecho en la oficina. Me sentaron para hablar conmigo y mire cómo me están sacando. Ok, eso lo tienes que... Lo tienes que hablar con tu abogado y defenderlo en la corte. Pero, ¿Por qué no por me han dejado primero hablar con mi abogado entonces? Yo como ciudadano no, no puedo, no merezco ser tratado así. Okay. Como un delincuente. Sacado así de esta manera. 
Get in the car, bro. He was taken into custody and released after a few hours, receiving 12 months probation. Two others, including his 19-year-old son, were also arrested. Now from a criminal doubling as an employee to a criminal hiding behind a uniform, we have the case of Officer D'Angelo Reyes, who attempted to misuse his authority by forcing himself upon an innocent woman, only to face serious consequences later. You're sexy. Is that unprofessional of me? I don't know. I'm sorry, but like, I'm just like, damn. You got like a, you got a room? On April 17, 2022, Tulsa, Oklahoma police officer D'Angelo Reyes was on patrol when he encountered a woman walking her dog. He stopped to have a friendly chat with her, which turned into something more. What's your name? My name? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm Eric. Oh, okay. I mean, I heard some noise that that direction, but I didn't see Okay. Anybody. Oh, do you live around here? Uh, yeah, I stay at the motel. Oh, which one? The studio. Oh, okay. But soon Reyes turned the conversation into a completely different direction, which was highly inappropriate. What's your name? My name? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm Eric. Nice to meet you. You're sexy. Is that unprofessional of me? I don't know. I'm sorry, but like, I mean, I'm just like, damn. You just chilling tonight? Okay. If I'm wandering around, where should I wander? Probably somewhere around the Studio Star. At the Studio Star. Okay. He first gave her a fake name and later pushed her to give her personal information, even asking her if she had a room. Most people call me Red. Red? You got like a, you got a room? Okay. It's me and my dog, Felony. Oh, really? Okay. The footage then stops after this, but the woman later reveals that she had shared her contact information with Reyes, who called her later that night. He had apparently run a background check on her and found that she had a sketchy history. Reyes asked her if she was an escort and even threatened her by saying, it wouldn't take much to put a person with her record back in prison. The woman alleges that Reyes then physically forced himself upon her while using protection which he later flushed down the toilet. A special unit was put on the case and questioned Reyes, who later gave an excuse that he thought the woman was a homicide suspect and denied getting intimate with her. But he later admitted to getting physical with her, claiming that it was consensual. He was arrested and charged with first-degree rape. From one criminal in uniform to another, we have the case involving Officer Hare, who inappropriately engaged with a female suspect in the back of the police van, only to later find himself locked inside the vehicle, leading to an embarrassing situation. You're gonna come with me to my car? Don't say that right now. All right, sir, step out of the vehicle for me. On August 14th, 2023, at approximately 8.38 p.m., San Diego police officer Anthony Hare arrived at the intersection of Denver Street and Claremont Avenue in Bay Park to assist fellow officers with the arrest of several individuals suspected of auto theft. One of the suspects was a woman who caught the attention of the officer. Hey, just listen to him. Put your hands behind your back. There you go, stay like that. Why are you guys tripping like that? Listen to him. I can't come out of the Put your hands behind your back. Hey, with the nose on my fucking face. Put man. your hands behind your back. Oh, please, oh, please. Do not move. Just like that. Do not move. Don't move. Why are you guys... On him and, and yeah, okay. One at a time, guys. One at a time. Yeah, you can get her. Oh, no. Ow. What's your name, dog? My name is Israel, boy. Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing? 
man, a little scared. What the fuck? Well, explain everything to you, man. I know you're gonna explain everything. Okay. Relax, right? Yeah. What's up? Uh, roll to your side. Okay. Oh, shit. Bend your knees. Ready? Take this one right here. No weapons or anything on you? No, no. Okay. Right. Cool. Right. 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 All right, yeah, yeah, for sure. You have to run me down and everything. All right, come over here. All right, go ahead and stand up for me. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, maybe it's easy. Just roll, roll over yeah. first, yeah. Roll over. Bend, bend, bend up there. Bend up there. Ready? Can you get the other one? Yeah, hold on one second. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and eat. Okay. We're just gonna go my car right here, okay? After handcuffing the suspects, Officer Hare decided to take the woman inside his van to transport her to the police headquarters. But he soon found himself caught in a situation that was about to take a turn for the worse. Alright. You're gonna come with me to my car? Let's go. Oh, oh, who's that? You heard that? What you said? Oh, let's go. About asking me. Yeah. This way. Walk across the street. No. Also, why are you the only mean one? I'm not mean. Bro, you're the only dick. No, we can come here once we get into the car, okay? I got your. Sorry for calling you that. I got your. Not your duffel bag, whatever. The doshing bag. I got all of that. Your makeup. Not really. I'm doing your job. But, 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 Asking that. Oh, what do you mean? I'm cool to you. <laughs> Officer Hare was meant to transport the woman to police headquarters and then to the Las Colinas Detention Center in Santee, California for questioning. While on their way, both of them struck up a conversation and made small talk. But as they neared the facility, Hare decided to make a move on the woman. As the conversation progressed, the woman hinted at wanting to engage Officer Hare in something more intimate. Aware that everything was being recorded, he attempted to steer the conversation away, but didn't outright refuse her suggestion. I'll tell you after. Hold on. A little bit. Well, I can't hear you now. Say that right now. No, I said don't say that right now because uh, everything's being recorded right now. What's going on? Officer Hare then asked the woman what she was doing in the back seat. At that moment, the police cruiser slowed down and he turned off his body camera, revealing his questionable intentions. A GPS tracker showed the cruiser turned into a dark residential street near Las Colinas Detention Center and stopped around 1.34 a.m. Hare entered the back seat with the woman, but somehow locked himself in and had to call for help. About 20 minutes later, he asked a fellow officer for a master key, and eventually another officer arrived to let him out.
after I step out of the vehicle for me. One fourteen yellow. What code for? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me turn my camera off. She's code four. She's code four. Okay, okay. Yeah, let me turn this off real quick. I can do this usually later. Okay. Yeah, I can do this later. Both Hare and the woman stated that there was no inappropriate contact in the back seat. However, in a later police interview, the woman claimed that the officer wanted to connect with me when I was done with the warrant or whatever I got arrested for. She also mentioned that Hare had asked her to meet after her release from jail, but she never did. Later, the San Diego Police Department released a video of Hare reenacting the incident for investigators, but it seemed far from convincing. Do you mind just... Showing us? Yeah, how you did? Okay. So now I'll take this. And then, do you want me to see how she was laying down? Or? How you got, how you ended up inside? So, like, yeah, so she, so she was laying down, her face was over there. And then I was just like, kind of right here. I was like, hey, well, at first I was like, hey, wake up. I was like, hey, are you okay? Blah, blah, blah. She didn't like, so her head was facing towards that way. And then, so then this is when I, I was shaking her, and then this is when I went in, but then I, I, I don't know if I had my hand like this, and then something like that happened, and I kicked it with my foot like that, and then, then I was in, and then that's, I was waking her up like this. I was, yeah, I was, I, was like, I was like this, waking her up. While I was waking her up, I hear the door click behind me. Okay. Yeah. And then, so yeah, I was, I was like this, and then, when I found that the door was clicked behind me, I positioned myself like this. And I already knew that there was no door handle, but I was just like frantic. I was like, I can't get out of here. Okay. And then that's when she was I she was able to sit up here and then I told her you stay there, blah blah blah. And then I was I was just like hunkered down like this on okay. my side. So So uh let, let me go to the other side, then you climb back okay. in. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Again? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, um, so, open the door, and then as I came in like that, I was, you know, I was trying to wake her up. My feet wasn't this, my feet didn't get caught like that. And then when I was like waking her up, that's when I noticed that this door closed on me. And then that's when I was like frantic trying to open the door, but I know there's no, okay. there's no door opener. And then, and then, yeah, and then from then, she was able. Um, she was able to. So I was like, I was like this majority of the time. I was trying to, you know, get her up because her face was right here. Okay. Right here, and then I was trying to like wake her up to get her up. And then next thing you know, I hear the door close on me. I was frantic. I was looking, and then she. And then that's when she started to kind of like, I guess, wake up or get dazed off, or whatever. And then that's when I asked her like, Hey, are you having a hard time breathing? She said, No. Do you need medics? No. I was like, Okay, all right. Just, just stay right there. And then that's when I was trying to open the door. Okay. And then that's when I went on D2. All right, you can jump up. That's your ball. Do you mind? The department tested Hare's clothing for semen and found traces on his belt. On September 14th, Officer Hare resigned from the force. Next up, a family member embezzled $50000 from the family business, but karma soon caught up with them. Some payroll theft where she was running 
extra hours or she was giving herself a lot of reimbursements. Really looks like a drug problem. Um, but I almost feel like it was just an addiction to the stealing. Actually, no. Because I, well, I'm not exactly 100% sure what this is. I, I already know what happened. I already know about the credit cards that he paid off. Okay, then, that, then I know what it is. On the 8th of September, 2023, Officers in Florida responded to an incident at a small local business where it was reported that a significant amount of money had been stolen. Upon reaching the location, they talked to the manager to find out what had transpired. I'm going to go through this real quick with you here. This is, this is what I have so far. Okay. Looks like I've got a log here of some stuff here. Yeah, uh, her, that was her mileage log because she was authorized to give herself reimbursements for her mileage. I think okay. it was like 57 cents per mile if she had to run to the bank or things like that. Um, but the reason I included that is because she was giving herself a lot more than just okay. um, what, what she was authorized to give. Okay. So that's why I included that. And then I have copies of looks like some bank statements. Those look like her paycheck stubs, a year for the paycheck stubs, because she was doing some theft through there also. She, it seems, you can see a pattern. It seems like we started out okay at the beginning of the year. Uh -huh. And then she started doing um, some payroll theft where she was running extra hours or she was giving herself a lot of reimbursements. Um, she even piddled around with some bonuses. Like she was just cushioning her paychecks a lot and it okay. was very consistent. It's okay if I sit down. Yes, please sit down. The manager soon revealed that the employee was actually a family member with a history of theft, narcotics issues, and various personal problems. It turned out that the employee had stolen over five zero 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 dollars through payroll and credit card fraud. The owners disclosed to the officer how she had repeatedly paid herself far more in allowances and overtime than she was entitled to. Finally, the officers confronted the suspect who was working for another employer at the time, and began questioning her after informing her of her rights. Actually, no, because I, well, I'm not exactly 100% sure what this is. I know when you asked me on the phone yesterday, I was just walking out of work and there was a couple other people following out the door mm -hmm. and I wasn't getting into it. Okay. But I did call, we have a hotline at work and I called and they advised me not to answer any questions, find out what it actually was about, and then contact them again so that if I do need an attorney, they know how to, you know, best ass assign which way to go, what I need, and who to, you know, give me. Okay. So you choose Dr. Talk. Correct. All right. Well, I can't really share much more. Okay. All right. Um, I will tell you this, it is a criminal investigation. I already know what happened. I already know about the credit cards that he paid off. Okay, then, that, then I know what it is. Yeah. Okay, so I know how to advise the attorneys. Mm -hmm. And it's more payroll, okay. commissions, bonuses, stuff like that. So, um, all right, so I am not going to take any to do further on that. Um, but that helps me to know what mm, to tell them. But I have your phone number, so. Yes, sir. Uh, if there's anything that we need to reach out to you for. Yes, sir. Will you respond back? Oh, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. <clears throat> yeah, they told me definitely show up because that, you know, I, I gave my word that I would be here and that I needed to show up. Okay. Well, that's that's good. I mean, I, again, what, I, what we try to do in, in a case like this, we try to get your side of the story because yes, all I have is their side of the story. Now, um, they've been told not to reach out to you. They've been told, and I'm asking you not to reach out to them. Yes, right sir. Now it's a criminal investigation, so okay. um, that's what's going there. I mean, I don't think you have any questions for me. No, sir. It's an ongoing case. Um, you know, I just, again, it's not looking really good for you. That's why I want to talk to you. I want to feel what was behind it and everything else. But again, I can't pay to speak, and I told you, you're free to leave, you're free to not speak, you're free to get a lawyer and everything else. Um, anything else? The suspect refused to answer any questions of the detective and instead decided to contest the case in court, which ultimately backfired massively as she was sentenced to a 24-month jail sentence for stealing over $5,000 from her relative's company.